let's begin. Welcome back guys, it's Elwood here from Not So Serious Gaming. Today I'll be showing you the full easter egg guide to Metropolis created by Victus Jake. I'm going to start off with the side easter eggs as I believe they improve the gameplay and it makes it a little bit spicy. This includes free perks, free wonder weapons, free points, free gobble gums, so much free stuff! Hidden free Mauser. Within spawn just to the left of the Shiva wall by, there's a rubbish bin. You can knife it and the lid will come flying off. This will reveal the Mauser. Secret Bowie Knife. The Bowie Knife is hidden behind a door in spawn just next to this workbench. To open it you must throw a grenade at it. Voila! The Bowie Knife can now be acquired. Power. There are two power switches. One of them is next to the Kino Theatre that powers up Jug, which I think is a pretty cool feature. The other one you will need to build and it will power up the rest of the map. Behind the Kino Theatre is where you need to build power just in the power station. The handle and the wire both have two locations so they can spawn within here. The wire. One location is just to the right hand side as you enter the power station. The other location is just on the left hand side just over by Speed Cola. The handle. One is on the blue barrel just in the middle of the room. The other location can be found just underneath the power switch platform just leaning against the crate. Head up the staircase and build power. Pack a punch. After you turn on the power, the rest of the map will become available. You will now have access to all the three parts to build pack a punch back up here in the power station. The flag can be found just next to the pack a punch machine just over here by the bookshelf. The engine can be found over in the docks just across from double tap within this box. The top part of the machine can be found in the Grand Hotel. Just head up to the top floor and it's in a box over by Widow's Wine. Head back to the power station to build this. Civil Protector. As I'm sure you know, you will need three fuses to activate the Civil Protector. Place the fuses in the box just down by the power station to activate it. Each fuse is going to have three separate locations, so here they are now. The first fuse can spawn in over by the docks. As you head into the area, it's just on the left hand side over by this truck. Another one can be found within the fish door, just over here in the corner. Another location is just on the right hand side outside the fish door over by the Wonderfizz. The second fuse can be found somewhere in the Grand Hotel. One location can be found on the main table just in the lobby. Another location is just over on the left hand side over in the lobby. And the final location can be found over at the top of the staircase just over by the door. Third fuse. The third fuse can be found within the theatre. Heading through the reception, one of them can be located on the left hand side here. Heading through the reception again, the other one can be found on this cart, just here. And the last one can be found where the screen is, just over on the right hand side here. Free perk easter egg. Around the map there are three cocoons that you can shoot that are all in high spots. Unfortunately you have to use a locust for this, as no other weapon will work. You can acquire this on the top floor of the Grand Hotel. It is a bit pricey though. Just up in the Grand Hotel where you get the locust, one is hanging beneath the chandelier. One is just on the top part of the radio tower, just behind the theatre. One of them can be found just hanging off the lighthouse just over by the docks. You will now get a free random perk. Free Gobblegum. On the street in front of the theatre there are three Gobblegums that you must collect. When you do, things are going to get a bit trippy. One of them can be found on the crate just over by Juggernaut on the right hand side. One is on top of the barrel just to the left hand side of the auto shop. One can be found to the left hand side of the theatre just by the mystery box over here. Free R70 Ajax. There are three pieces of scrap paper that you must collect and go place on the desk where the Pack-a-Punch machine is. One's over by the docks just on the floor here by these barrels. One's just outside the Grand Hotel just over on the side here. And one's in the maintenance tunnel just down here by the computers. Once you have the three scraps of paper, return them to the desk in the Pack-a-Punch area. You'll now be rewarded with a free R70 Ajax. Shield. There are two parts to be collected for the transit shield and of course there's two locations for each of them. Dolly. Just across from Mule Kick, one is found on top of the office building just by the Gobblegum machine. As you're heading to the office building on the second floor, one is just here before the meeting room. The door. Head on the ground and go past the train. One location can be in the maintenance tunnel just on the table here. Continue through here and head up to the sewer. Another location can be found opposite where the mystery box location is. There's three workbenches around the map. You can choose to build the shield or the wonder waffle wherever you want. One workbench is just in the spawn area just by the bowie knife. One of them is in the fish store just down by the docks. The last one is in the grand hotel just upstairs. Shield upgrade. Merely the three rune symbols around the map. When you've done all three, the shield will be upgraded. One of them can be found in alley just by the juggernaut power switch. And one of them is in the alleyway just past the Grand Hotel. One of them is in CJ's store just down by the docks. Once you've done the last one, your shield will be automatically upgraded. Wonder Waffle. There are three parts that you need to build a Wonder Waffle. Each of them have their own locations. Apart from the barrel, which will always spawn in just next to the juggernaut power switch. The body. This will always be in the alley just past the Grand Hotel, however it can spawn in one of three locations. One of them is just on the trash can in this corner. One of them is leaning between the transformers just here. 
The last one is just next to the ramp by the rune symbol here, the back tree. One of them's in CJ's just down by the docks, just on the bookshelf just here. Another location could be on the counter just here, and another location could be on this bookshelf just inside the store. Once you have this, build it on one of the table locations I mentioned in the shield part. Main quest. If you've done all the side easter eggs, step 1 and 2 have already been done. Well, mostly, but I go through them anyway. Step 1, turn the power on and build Pack-a-Punch. Step 2, build the Wonder Warfall and upgrade it. Now we're all caught up, step 3. Shoot 3 fuse boxes with the upgraded Wonder Warfall. This will unlock a door in the power station and you can get the Ragnaroks from there. One of them's just by the Pack-a-Punch machine in the power station. One's over down by the docks just by the ledge you can jump off. And the last one's in the Grand Hotel just by the workbench. Step 4. Head into the power station and collect the Ragnaroks. You can also upgrade the Civil Protector here. For free! Use the Ragnaroks in the maintenance tunnel just by this teleporter pad here. Once you've done that, knife this panel and you'll hear a noise trigger. Step 5. Head over to where the radio tower is over by the power station. The door is now open and you'll grab the code off the crate. This will unlock a safe over in the office building just in the meeting room. Pick up the nav card and now we'll turn it to the nav table underneath the radio tower. Step 6. Using the nav table, activate the lockdown just beneath the radio. You'll now be trapped in this area until the time is up. When you complete this, a barbed ending will appear, and the crate will open, revealing a free wonder weapon. It's the Thunder Gun! That's the main easter egg done. There is actually another side easter egg that can give you extra points, as there's posters just outside the zombie barriers that can be shot and will give you 200 points each one you do. There's 11 to find, so good luck finding them. I hope you all enjoyed my guide for this really cool map. If you did, then please consider subscribing. It's free and it really helps a small channel out. You all have been amazing, where I have been Elwood from Not So Serious Gaming. Hope you have a great morning, evening, night, whatever time of day is. Hope you have a great one and peace out. What the f was that?